Welcome to Born Again, the channel where I've had Crohn's disease since 2003 and now I'm finally med free and I'm having the best time of my life. And I used to be stick skinny, so something is going wrong, obviously. Yesterday I went for a checkup to Chelsea Westminster, which is like the leading hospital for my condition in the whole of the UK. I couldn't, I usually I see like the, the head specialist, but he has a team of people under him and I saw one of them and yeah, it was just kind of interesting because you hear the same garbage uh, just recycled over and over instead of experience and knowledge, just book knowledge, which by itself isn't really applicable in this world where so many blogs out there and real life experience as opposed to just, oh, what sounds good for Big Pharma to say. But of note, it was really interesting the doctor kind of came, went into the same like, you know, routine, okay, your last blood tests are seven for your haemoglobin, that's about half of what it should be. I mean, who do they talk to? I'm not stupid. I, I studied with you guys until I decided to do engineering, you know? I mean, okay, yes, it is. it was half of what it used to be. I didn't want to tell him when I was in Poland, I went for blood tests and my, my haemoglobin was like 15 and a half, which was dead on perfect, which which is a sign it was much, much, much better because my blood tests were from like half a year earlier when they were quite bad still. I didn't really want to shoot his boat, but I was just kind of trying to be like, okay, I, I'm, I understand what you're saying. Do you guys have the same when you go to the doctor's appointment to the BS, frankly? Because Crohn's, essentially Crohn's is a digestive disorder. In theory, when you're really ill, you should eat stuff which is easily digestible. Sure, I get this, okay. So he was asking what I eat in a day. I was, like, I was like, I have a bit of kefir in the morning. I have a vegetable juice, like a litre in the morning. I have a couple smoothies, some dates. Then I get into the steamed vegetables. <laughs> he was like, what are you doing? You have Crohn's. You should, be, you should be eating like white processed bread. I quote, white processed bread. Is he on drugs or something? Because I am not on drugs of any. He's like, yeah, it's counterintuitive. You know, you think you should not eat that, but it's just easier to digest. I'm like, in my head, I mean, I could have like cut him up. Like, I don't care. He's nothing for me. He doesn't know anything. He hasn't gone through anything to know. He's just read a book in school and memorized it and he thinks he's, 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 he's smart. People, if you look at food over the last thousands of years, food has changed the most in the last one century in part of all the technological improvements of this world. Technology has just skyrocketed. Who, who think we have a computer in our hands a hundred years ago? You tell the guys bonkers. My point is we have these health problems, not because, oh, we're unlucky these last, you know, this last century, because we're eating junk like this, processed white bread, highly processed, no nutrients. As soon as you eat white bread, it turns into sugar in the body. It's, there's no fiber to slow the digestion down. It just goes straight through you. There's no nutrients to fuel your body up to break down any free radicals and inflammation causing your body. Rather, it leaches out nutrients from your body and causes more inflammation. I've had to listen to this. For years, I had to listen to this crap. And I knew it was wrong. My mum never accepted like, oh, you know, you're gonna have to take these drugs which are gonna give you cancer. The side effects of a lot of these immunosuppressants drugs are cancer, blood cancers, lymphomas, not only feeling crap on them and like sluggish and brain fogged and everything wrong. But what was interesting to note, he was like, yeah, everyone in the UK, even the doctor himself, has low vitamin D and he suggested getting vitamin D shots. He said that of note with conviction. So imagine if you reverse this, would Crohn's, would it be less prevalent? I don't know. That's why I want to move abroad in the winter because in the winter, I mean, abroad, I could actually have a tan. Like if I lived in Sri Lanka or India or Costa Rica. Oh, and it also is a lot cheaper. So I don't have to do the nine to five grind just to pay the rent. Okay, so vitamin D was low. Yeah, so my, my point before is like with the white bread, if you have Crohn's because you're not eating well, because you're eating the Western pile of junk, and then you, you're told to eat more white bread whilst you're on the medication, it's almost, you're in a vicious loop. I mean, I've had many, many years where they've not been as good as they should have been because I've been in this vicious loop. Because you you're brought up to think toast, white breaded toast with butter or jam, which is 50% added white sugar, is good for you or normal when it's not great. Like white sugar has only been used on a massive scale by the whole population in the last, yeah, 100 years, just the turn of the 20th century. Before it was, it was very expensive, only the few could eat it. And before that, that never existed. I mean, British people make huge money on colonial exploits 
of sugarcane in the, in the Indies, and it's become normal now, but it never used to be. But also of note, he said, this being the most prestigious Crohn's disease unit in the UK, he did say everyone else is on medication. But I didn't want to also backtrack him, debuff him, checkmate him, because his senior, his boss, was like, Matt, on a level, Matt, these drugs don't look like they're helping you. I would definitely not suggest you to take any more. <laughs> in reflection, the stress of taking them probably does more harm to me than anything else. Because Crohn's is linked with your men mental state, you see. You know, your emotion. The most amount of nerve endings after your brain are in your guts. That's why people get goosebumps when you feel nervous. But I didn't want to intimidate him. It's like, lol. I didn't go to the doctor to like shoot him down. I came to, went to the doctor for him to try and help me. And that's why you have to really keep it low. You have to keep it in and just trickle out a little bit. He hated it. The patient after stayed in for 20, 30 minutes. I stayed in for five and I left properly with my blood test forms and my poo sample test. Basically back into like real science, he was like, the best mark of your Crohn's disease is to get a stool sample and also bl and blood test. So we did that. That's kind of why I went into doctors to get. And that's like my only reason, just to get some labs for free because it's the NHS to be fair. And at the end, I asked for when my results would come because I want to put it on the blog as soon as possible. And it was really interesting. I gave, I was like showing my card and he was just, like, kind of ignored it. And that's kind of the mentality towards alternative stuff in the doctors. Instead of trying to work together or try to see other solutions, they're fully into promoting the stuff they've learned. They've learned a lot of hard science and like truth be told, doctors don't study nutrition. You think they would? It's a basic for human health, but instead they study loads of chemical formulas which is great for making drugs and understanding how big pharma works for this medicine but not how to eat well which is like the basis for any health surely you don't see bodybuilders eating fries you see bodybuilders eating the cleanest food you see people recovering from cancer drinking loads of vegetable juice yes what you put in is what you get out every cause has an effect just logical thinking you eat shit you look like shit you eat good you look good you know oh really tell me more because I've had Crohn's since 2003. Now, born again, trust me, I was in real bad malaises, real bad malaises for years. But my point is, I am qualified. 13 years of having Crohn's, I've been reading every news article on the web over and over again, because you don't quite get like, this is my whole life has been like, scratching my head and being like what i didn't get this or you finally get a bit better then you eat a pizza like a sourdough traditional you know little cheese pizza and you still flare up you still have great pains that night i've played this game for long enough now i've tried many diets i've tried the atkins diet i've tried veganism before it's all about positive lifestyle and that's become increasingly shown for a lot of studies i'm going to link a video down below from dr mike gregor plant-based doctor from America. And one last thing, my doctor was like, Matt, that's admirable. You trying to cure your Crohn's naturally. As if I just came out of the moon and I was completely crazy and delusional. He was saying that when he was like looking away from me, looking down, and I was like, yeah, our appointment was quite short. The appointment afterwards, because I, I waited to talk to him after, because I wanted to show him my blog because he kind of ushered me out. And the people after, they're all there for like 25 minutes. They don't know what they're talking about. It's a shame, it's a shame. So just bear in mind, if the doctor thinks eating extra fruit has no correlation with anything, then uh, we're in a sick, a really sick world. Peace out.